you want to visit Berlin, good choice. Don't have much time? No problem. You need a few tips? We have them. Berlin's top 10, to be exact. These are some of the sites no Berlin visitor should miss. Let's go. Famous places connected to German history. World-class museums that have made it onto UNESCO's World Heritage List. And striking buildings internationally known as Berlin landmarks. Let's start with number 10 of the top sites, the Humboldt Forum. It looks old, but it's Berlin's newest attraction. The city palace of the Prussian kings used to stand here. It was badly damaged in World War II, then demolished and only recently rebuilt. Inside, the Humboldt Forum is a modern museum building with various exhibitions. The ethnological collection, for example, shows objects from Africa, Asia, South America, and the South Seas. In an exhibition dedicated to Berlin, you can turn the wheel of history and watch scenes from the city's past spring to life on the monitors. Another artifact on display, the door of the legendary techno club, Trezor. Entry to the Humboldt Forum and most of its exhibitions is free. From one palace to the next, the Friedrichstadtpalast is number nine on our list of the most popular Berlin attractions. Daredevil acrobats, sensational choreography. Up to 780,000 guests a year see the reviews in Berlin's Friedrichstadtpalast, which boasts the world's largest theater stage. If you think that the review is a dying art form, this is the best place to be convinced otherwise. Biannually, a new show premieres, with costumes designed by stars like Jean-Paul Gaultier, Christian Lacroix, or Philip Tracy. For more than a century, the Friedrichstadtpalast has been a fixture of Berlin's nightlife. You can't miss number eight on our best of Berlin list, it's the world-famous TV Tower on Alexanderplatz. With a staggering height of 368 meters, it's not only the tallest building in Berlin, but in all of Germany. In just 40 seconds, two elevators bring visitors to the observation deck, situated 203 meters above the pavement. You won't find a better view of Berlin. It's a bit scary. I didn't expect it to be quite so high. When we looked for a, a places to go in Berlin, we uh, the first thing we saw is the great, the, the big tower. You can recognize every monument from Berlin in only one view. One floor up, you'll find a restaurant with a revolving panoramic platform. While you have a bite, you can make a full circle around the city and see all of Berlin's sights passing by below. To avoid long queues, it's best to book an online ticket. They are pricier, but bring you to the top in the blink of an eye. That brings us to number seven, Kaiser Wilhelm's Memorial Church, a real emblem of Berlin's so-called city west. Easily recognized by its distinctive appearance, the new and the old church tower. The church was destroyed in World War II, and the damaged tower was left as a reminder of the horrors of war. In the early 1960s, the modern church building was added. The interior might surprise you. It shines in blue and is reminiscent of the atmosphere of old Gothic cathedrals with their large stained glass windows. Here you can have a moment of peace and quiet before you delve back into big city life. You might need it before hitting the bustling high street Kurfürstendamm, a shopaholic's paradise. Here you'll find expensive luxury labels alongside stores for smaller budgets. Next, we head east to number six of Berlin's most popular hotspots, 
Checkpoint Charlie. It was probably the most famous border crossing between East and West Berlin. It was here American and Soviet tanks faced off in 1961, causing fears of another world war. Although the wall has long since come down, tourists love Checkpoint Charlie as a photo op. The place, however, has much more to offer. Many exhibitions around it show you what it really meant to live in a divided city. This 360-degree painting, for example, takes you back to the 1980s. On to number five. Here, where the River Spree divides, lies the Museum Island. The island itself is a work of art named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It includes five museums with treasures of art from around the world. The Altis Museum houses an extensive collection of antiquities. The main attraction of the new museum is the bust of Queen Nefertiti. And the Pergamon Museum, currently under renovation, is home to the famous Pergamon Altar. The quantity of museums that there are in the same city in a very small diameter. Y la verdad que sí, que nos gusta mucho, nos ha encantado. We visited only twice uh, so far. Uh, like one of them was the Pergamon, and the other one was the Greek history. I think I like the Greek history more. Germany gather a lot of treasuries from other countries, so it it will be very interesting to me. Annually, the Museum Island receives over two million visitors. Our tip: every first Sunday of the month, the entrance is free for all museums on the Museum Island. Also free every day of the year is the East Side Gallery, number four in our Berlin countdown. It stretches for 1.3 kilometers, making it the longest open-air gallery in the world. Right after the fall of the Berlin Wall, artists came from all over the world and painted the gray surface. Among the most famous are the socialist fraternal kiss or the Trabant car breaking through the wall. About one million tourists stop by at the East Side Gallery on a yearly basis, and few can resist taking a photo. Nearby, you can see the Oberbaum Bridge, which connects the districts of Friedrichshain and Kreuzberg. Since reopening, it has become another symbol of the once divided city. The Holocaust Memorial is our number three, and also Berlin's third most visited tourist site. It occupies a huge field right in the heart of Berlin, with almost 3,000 concrete slabs rising from the ground. The further you venture inside, the more isolated and lost you feel. The memorial commemorates the approximately 6 million Jewish people who were murdered by the Nazis in Europe during World War II. The memorial is complemented by an exhibition underground. Here you can see historical film and photographs connected to the Holocaust. In second place in our Berlin ranking is the Reichstag building, attracting some three million visitors every year. This is where the Bundestag, the German parliament, convenes. Don't you think the glass dome at the top adds a certain lightness to the otherwise massive structure? A spiraling walkway leads you to the top. Tickets for the dome and for the guided tours through the building are free, but be sure to reserve them online nevertheless. Even if you don't go inside, the hustle and bustle on the large lawn in front of the Reichstag building is always exciting. Tourists from all over the world flock to this place during the summer months. That brings us to the number one spot in our Berlin Top 10 countdown. Behold, the Brandenburg Gate. But you probably guessed that already. It's without a doubt Berlin's most photographed landmark. Just the magnificence of the building, how tall it is, the carvings that are in each individual pillar is quite spectacular. I felt so tiny when you are in front of this uh, a massive uh, building. This is like my first time to Europe and I've never been able to experience anything such as grand as this. Today, 
visitors take passing through the gate as a given, but back when Berlin was still divided, that was out of the question. It was located in a restricted area. Only with the fall of the wall in 1989, the story of the Brandenburg Gate also got a happy ending. Those were our 10 must-sees for your visit to Berlin. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.